In this video, we are going to have a look at how to install Xdebug through Peckle on the Linux command line and then see how we can debug PHP units own unit tests. I have a standard installation of PHP 804 with Opcache already installed. The first thing to do is to install Xdebug with Peckle. By running Peckle install Xdebug. In some situations, the Peckle tool already adds the right Zend extension line to your PHP INI file, but in my situation, it has not done this. Therefore, we are going to have to do this ourselves. Let's see where our PHP INI file lives. We're running PHP minus minus INI. It's in the file user local PHP 8.0 dev slash lib slash PHP dot INI. In this file, we are already loading OP cache. Now we need to add Xdebug to this. Xdebug needs to be loaded after OP cache. This line, zend underscore extension equals Xdebug, should be all you need to do. When we now run php minus y on the command line, Xdebug should show up. And here we go, Xdebug loaded after OP cache with the right version. In order to do single step debugging, we need to configure Xdebug to be in debug mode. Let's update our php ini file. By setting the mode to debug, we will only have the debugger enabled, but it is often also useful to have Xdebug's developer aids enabled, such as the updated var dump as well as stack traces. So let's add that as well. Let's run some of PHP unit's own unit test suite. We see that there is a failure in a specific test. Our task is to find out what the problem is here. We can see from the output that a test failure happens in name prettifier test PHP line 50. Let's open that up in PHP Storm. On line 50, which is the following test here. In order to debug, we enable PHP Storm's listening mode. In the run menu, click start listening for debug connections. We know that our test in line 50 failed so we set a breakpoint here by clicking in the margin. A red dot should appear now. Just running the unit test on the command line will not start the debugger. You need to trigger the debugger by using an environment variable. In this case, I use the xdebug underscore trigger environment variable and use as its value yes. As soon as we hit a breakpoint, it pops up in PHP Storm and we can inspect what's going on. Let's single step to find out what happens. Single stepping you do with the step over button or by pressing F8. This will go to the next line in your script. But what we would like to do is to step into all the functions that are being called for which you use the step into button or you press F7. I will press F7. We see that our argument is this is a test which has been passed in. Now let's step over the lines to see what goes on. Our test string is still correct. Here we can see that it is trying to find test underscore, but it has an extra space in here, which will not match the beginning of this test, which is what we expected. So here it does not do the right thing. We can see now that the name is underscore this is a test instead of just this is a test. We can fix our bug here by just removing the extra space, but what we can also do is update the value here to change it to the expected value by going to set value or pressing F2. We now remove the first character that we didn't expect and press enter. The variable now evaluates to this is a test as we would expect. Now we step further on and it returns here. It then runs PHP units assertions to see what's going on, but we can see that the actual is what we would expect it. So this test should now pass. We can find out by clicking the resume program button or F9. When we now see PHP units output, we can see that all the tests have passed. Instead of using the xdebug underscore trigger environment variable, we can also instruct xdebug to always make a debug connection. We do that by editing our PHP INI file. The xdebug setting for this is start with request. For debugging, the value of the settings means to only trigger debugging requests when an environment variable is present. If we want to have this on all the time, we need to set it to yes. Let's save the file and run our unit tests again. 
and it again now stops at the line where we set our breakpoint without having to use our environment variable. And we can use the debugger to find out further issues if they would be there. You can abort the full PHP request by clicking the stop button or pressing Ctrl F2. We'll do that now and with that conclude this video.